Okay, let's go ahead and create an external event. So first I'm going to do a new object, make it a sprite, and I'll call this blade. Add animation, create with Piscal, and with my superior art skills, I will draw a janky blade. It's very terrifying. There's my blade. All right, I'm gonna move this platform here and I'm gonna extend it out and I'm gonna drop in my blade. And then I'm gonna add a new object, Sprite. I'm gonna call this arrow right and I'm going to create an arrow pointing to the right and I'm going to move this arrow here and then I'm going to create another one arrow left Add animation. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do here is make this blade go to the right, collide with this arrow, and then go to the left, collide with this arrow, and then keep just going back and forth. And I'm going to do that by creating an external event. And I'm going to be using, yes, it's that time, variables. So let's get to it. I'm going to go to my properties. And here is my external event. So I'm going to add an external event. And I'm going to call this blade. No, I'm going to call it enemies. Okay, so my external event is called enemies. And now I'm going to go open it up. Choose scene. And I'm going to select my untitled scene. And now I'm going to go into my untitled scene. And I'm going to connect my untitled scene with this external event. So everything that happens that I put in this external event enemies will happen in this untitled scene. Right? So say this is a level and then I can make another level and have the same attributes happen when I just add this enemies into every single level. And to do that it's very easy. Click the plus, link to external events, choose the event, and now we're good. Okay, here's our enemies. Now we're going to add an event. So the condition when my blade collides. with my right arrow my action 
is going to be change the scene variable where is it here it is change the number variable general variable scene And the variable we're going to use is called walking. But you can call it whatever you want. Spin, buzz, whatever. It doesn't really matter. OK. And this value is going to be 0. So now we have when blade collides with the arrow pointing to the right, it's going to change the scene variable walking to zero. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to copy and paste it, but change it from right to arrow left. And the scene variable walking is going to be set to one this time. Okay, so when the blade hits the right arrow, it changes the, sin, the variable to zero. When it hits the left arrow, it changes it to one. And we're gonna add trigger once while true, because we only want this to happen one time each time. And so far, so good. All right, so now we need to make them move. So, condition, scene variable. Okay, number variable. Variables walking. and the value is zero. Right, because that's what we did first, zero. And now what we're gonna do is make the blade go towards the arrow. And we're gonna use force because we're going to force it. <clears throat> so add a force to move towards a object. And the object is going to be arrow left at a speed of 100. OK. So, when the walking blade is going towards arrow left at a force of 100, it's going to collide with it and change it to variable 1. So now we need to create variable 1 to go towards arrow right. And then when it hits aerial right, it's going to switch it to variable zero. So it's just going to go back and forth. So now, actually, I'll just copy this. So this one's going to be one. And we're just going to copy this. Instead of going towards arrow left, it's going to go to arrow right. And 
and let's see what happens. Cool. All right, so we can see it's going left, hitting that collision, then going left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, one wonky thing we have going on here, and you can't see it, but it's there. We still have these arrows. And you know what, just for the time being, I'll move this cloud. Okay, so now you can see them. So what we want to do is just hide these arrows. And to hide them, it's really easy. We'll do it in our camera. So my action is just going to be hide. Arrow right. Hide. Arrow left. Preview. Cool. Oh, you know what? Let's let's make this spin. So to do that, all we need to do is enemies. Add a new event. What is it? Rotate. Blade. 360, apply, move that to the top, preview it, and there you go, and that's how you do it.